Welcome to my YouTube channel. Live and learn and be happy. So I just want to come on here real quick and talk about marriages. Why there's so much divorce. Why there's so many divorce. It's based on agenda, agenda, agenda people. Agenda. A lot of people married because they have an agenda. Some married because they need financial stability. Some married because they have a plan. And the plan is to execute whatever it takes to get what they want, okay? Either they get too old and they want somebody to take care of them when they get old. So the man will just get up and say, you know what? I need a wife to care for me because I'm getting old. Another will marry a woman because they have kids that is left. The baby mama gone or the wife divorced them. They want somebody just to care for the kids, not for love for the kids then you have one them will marry you because of the certain things that you may have that they want to get their hands on and if you're not putting that through or giving it to them they disappear okay some women will just marry just for money financial help and when that need needs not be met they're gone so before anyone jump into marriage search yourself make sure you do it for the right reason for love okay not just for love either remember everything counts that good that can make up a marriage that can last it has to be emotional support spiritual psychological okay physical right sexual financial all of that make up a marriage and you cannot do it without God either. In Agolas, if you are a truly believe, believer in God and you pray every day with your wife or your husband, you go to church, you enjoy the life, the beautiful life God has to offer, your marriage will last. But you got to put in the effort of communication. You got to be together. You cannot be selfish. You cannot be working forever, forever. And then you put your wife or your husband aside and then come back when you think you feel fit necessary. There has to be a foundation. There has to be some reason that you want to just be with this person other than your agenda. Other than what's in your head. Don't marry someone for something that you want. Don't marry someone because you have an agenda. It's not going to last. Stop wasting people's time. You got to marry for the right reason. I'm sitting here talking. I'm not perfect either. A lot of people marry for agendas. You got to do it for the right reason. Don't make a mistake and go have kids too for men who is all over the place. Because soon after you're going to be a just a baby mama. Sitting with kids and God knows where the daddy will be. Make sure they're a firm believer in God. If a person is not of God, he, how he going to love you if he ain't loving God? He not going to love who make him, but he going to love you? No, everyone got to search. When you're on a date, just remember, your date is like an interview. Ask necessary questions. Yes, people will lie, but that's why it takes time for you to find out if they're a liar before you jump into the bed and before you start doing things in which you're not supposed to do. Then soon after, bam, you start make family for the person. And they have the opposite side from you. Maybe they're a drug addict. Did you know before you started, you got to take time to find out. Maybe they're a drug addict. Maybe they're atheists. They don't believe in God. They don't want nothing to do with him. Maybe they're an abuser. Right? Maybe they're a molester. Right? Maybe they don't want to work. They're coming for what you got. Listen, man. People, we need to do better. This uh, is like a pandemic. Divorce is like a pandemic. This minute, somebody's happily ever after. And then sadly, never, ever will be a future for them. Ever. Because what? They marry for the wrong reason. Anyway, come back for more. Love you all. Have a blessed day.